and big way. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Um, I love Wednesdays because I get to spend like, I feel like my day with y'all. Um, and it's so much fun just to be connect with everybody. And I know that you're all not part of our company, but a lot of you are. And I was going over the spreadsheet for the contest that's going on. And it's fun to see how many Coaches Corner participants are on that spreadsheet. So congratulations to all of you guys that are out there rocking it. And you're out there being tenacious, which is our word for today. So the word is tenacity, and it was requested by Leanne Thomas. But we've got all kinds of birthdays. So I'm going to go see. So we have Ruth Ann. So Ruth Ann Larish, it's her birthday today. Um, I'm seeing who else, if anybody else is on, that it's their birthday. Not that one. And. Oh, I can't type this fast. Okay, so Ruth Ann, you're going to get the special birthday song this morning, you lucky duck. So happy birthday, Ruth Ann. We can't wait to sing to you. Um, and you'll get to hear a little bit more about tenacity. So what is tenacity? It's the quality or fact. Hold on, I can't see my notes because I don't have my glasses on. So I got to zoom in a little bit. So it's the quality or fact of being able to grip something firmly, um, of being very determined, determination, um, persistence. And if somebody calls you tenacious, you're probably the kind of person that never gives up. You never stop trying. Someone who does whatever it takes to accomplish a goal and the other word that you might hear, and this is the word that I don't know, I, I feel like I hear this one a little bit more. Anybody know what word I'm about to say? Stubborn. So anybody else get called stubborn all the time? Brent likes to say I'm a mule and I dig my heels in. And it's true. Like I do struggle a little bit with authority. So if you tell me what to do, I am going to put my heels in and I'm not going to do it. I can't handle it. It doesn't happen. Um, just had this conversation yesterday. It's a good thing I don't have a boss because I wouldn't last long because <laughs> I have a hard time taking orders because I'm stubborn. But it also has gotten me pretty far in my life because I also won't get dissuaded from a goal because I'm tenacious and I'll keep going even when it seems like everybody's telling me that I should, you know, roll over and do something different. I don't have it in me. So tenacity is the ability to hang on when letting go appears like the most attractive thing. And it is a skill that we can all develop and maybe we can, what's the opposite of tenacity? Um, where maybe we need to sometimes learn to be a little bit less stubborn. I don't know. I don't know what that word is, but we'll figure that one out one tomorrow. But some key ways that tenacity helps us is it can help us overcome challenges. So tenacity gives us that resilience, that, you know, internal fortitude, that little bit, whatever it may be, that makes us turn those challenges into opportunities to grow as something that, you know what, this might not be great right now. I might feel like I'm running through, like you ever run through like really soft sand and you're giving it everything you can and you're like barely creeping along. So it might feel like that, but you're going to keep going because darn it, you said you were going to. Next, if you're, if you focus on tenacity, if you, if you're tenacious, you're going to achieve more of your long-term goals because those, that long-term stuff, we have to stick with it, right? Like the, the one week goals are easy. When I tell myself I'm going to drink a gallon of water today, well, that's pretty easy, right? Like we know we take 10 sips of water an hour. We're going to pretty much get there. You might have to chug a little bit at the end of the day. <laughs> Hopefully not too late or you'll be up all night. But like, you know, you can do that if you set that as a goal for yourself today. But if you set the goal that I'm going to drink a gallon of water every single day for the next year, well, that's a little bit harder, right? Because you got to string all those days together. But if you're tenacious, you're going to have more luck doing that because you're going to stay committed long after the desire to do so leaves you. Next, if you're tenacious, you're more adaptable. So in this world that's like constantly changing and we're constantly having to, you know, duck and weave, tenacity helps us adapt to those new circumstances and navigate the uncertainties that come with it. Also build some confidence when we success, successfully overcome some challenges, when we successfully do something hard, when we successfully, it's a hard word for me to say, keep going, well, then we build that confidence. Like we realize, you know what, I can do it. And your shoulders go a little higher. They go back a little bit more. 
and you kind of walk through the day with a little bit more confidence because you know that you're you have all this success tackling things in the past and you know that you'll have the ability to tackle future obstacles. Um, being tenacious helps us learn from those failures. We're all going to trip, right? We're all going to fall down sometimes. Some of us may be more than others, and that's okay because we get to learn more, right? We get to overcome more. We get to stand up again. You know, we get knocked down, what, seven times we stand up eight, right? Whatever that looks like. So when we can learn from that failure, we're going to be able to have that growth mindset and we can, you know, foster that even more. Helps us stay committed to our values and it helps us maximize our opportunities. So those are all the benefits of tenacity. Those are all the things that we can get from. So Leanne, that was a good one to look at today. What I looked into is, okay, how do we develop it? Like, you know, I like my action items. I like my to-do list. Like, how can I become more tenacious? Especially, you know, I can be stubborn as heck with some things, but man, can I be dissuaded in other areas, right? Like if, if you know, I give in to the ice cream more often than not, or actually my place, it's dark chocolate, like throw it at me all the time. Keep it coming. I don't care. Like that, if you told me, okay, you can't have that or no, you couldn't tell me that because then I'd have it twice. If you told me that it would be more healthy for me if I let that go, well, I would have to really fight for it. I'd really have to fight for that tenacity because I tell you, it's part of my life <laughs> and I like it. So how can we develop more tenacity? So the quote that I found that inspired this was, the most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. So if we can lean on that merely tenacity, we can get a lot farther. So how do we do that? First of all, we gotta have clear goals. So clearly define whatever your objective is and break it down into these little itty bitty manageable steps, just like drinking that gallon of water a day. If I realize that's just 10 sips, every hour it's just 10 sips, well, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But when you look at a bucket of water that's a gallon of water, you think there's no way I'm going to get that in ever. And you're like nauseous before you even get started, right? But when we break it down into those little manageable set steps, that gives us the roadmap so that we can get there. Next, we can focus on the process. So when we concentrate on those daily actions and the efforts that we need to receive our goal or achieve our goals, we can get there so much easier. And I think about my journey kind of in this business, and I'll tell you a little bit, back in the day, we had a car program and um, love our savings program, it's fantastic, but we did have a car program um, with a previous company. And I had this phenomenal team that was thriving and growing. And I had seven people underneath me in their car that I was helping them and I was running with them and I was all over the place in my Honda while they were driving their paid for BMW. And I was getting super frustrated and I had this goal, this goal, this goal, but what I wasn't focusing on was the process. And literally the month that I said, okay, stop trying to get car qualified, start focusing on the small little activities that you need. Well, that's the month I got my car, right? And so it took a little mindset shift to focus on the activity, not the end result, but that allows us to be more tenacious. Next, we've got to learn from our setbacks. So when we do stumble, we got to slow down for a minute and analyze what went wrong. Like, why did my scale move in this direction when I'm trying to get it to move in that direction? Like, where did I get off track? What was it? And if we can just try to look at it from a neutral space, we can figure out where we may be tripped up a little bit so that we can change our approach moving forward. Next is to build a support system. Surround yourself with amazing humans that are on the same path. So if my path is to travel across America and feed all of the ducks in every pond, okay? I don't know, that just came to me, but let's just pretend that that is my life mission. I've got to surround myself with people that really love ducks and are a little bit crazy and like to travel because if I surround myself with perhaps more normal people, they're going to try to dissuade me from that goal. So we've got to build that support system, those mentors, those colleagues that are going to encourage us in those challenging moments and that are going to be right there with us when we're running to a goal that to a lot of people might sound absolutely crazy. Next, we got to celebrate the small wins. And I always credit Tammy Malpe with this because she talks about her win book. And it could be just something as simple as a note on your phone, but the world does not brag on us enough. It doesn't. 
Like I try to brag on somebody every single day and I never brag on enough people because every single human deserves a pat on the back and we're no different. So sometimes we got to do that right here and we can forget, we can get so focused on all the other stuff that we forget the way that we're winning. So go open up the note on your phone and maybe you jot down that, you know what, you made your bed this morning before you went downstairs and that is a little win. Or maybe you chose the better creamer in your refrigerator than the not so great creamer that lives in your refrigerator because you have two teens in your house now that you're so excited about. Um, or maybe you made three calls or whatever. Like you put your shoes on. Maybe you didn't go for the run, but at least you got dressed for it. I don't care what the win is. I want you to put it in your notes. Put it on a sticky note. Put it in a little journal. Do something so that you remind yourself because you know what we do remind ourselves of? all the places we tripped up, right? Don't we remember those things when we climb in bed at night of the, oh, I should have, I should have, I should have. And we don't necessarily focus on, I did, I did, I did. But if we do, we can definitely get more tenacious. And then lastly, do a little bit of self-reflection. Regular, regular, okay, consistently, because I can't say the other word, it seems. Look back on your journey. Somebody put in the chat if you even got an idea of what that was, because I can't get it anywhere past these lips. Um, but anyway, consistently on a regular basis, look back on your journey and assess your strengths. Figure out where the areas that you, thank you, Diane, where you um, improved and then adjust your mindset accordingly so that you can get to the next level. So thank you. That helped with my blush this morning. So that's always good. Um, and now we have a birthday girl to sing to. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you all to unmute. Thank you. Hopefully that brought some value. And Ruth Ann, we love you. We're so glad that you're here. Ruth and Ann. we want to sing you happy birthday. So everybody join me here. So we sing happy birthday to Ruth Ann. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. to you. Happy birthday! 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 Happy birthday!